First, let's look at the Rapid Plan Create window itself. To resize the panels horizontally, hover your cursor over the vertical line separating the 3D view from the property tree. When it becomes a two-headed arrow, click and drag to resize the panels. There are two options available in the camera menu for how to view the work cell. Perspective displays, realistically, the effects of distance. Like a photograph or a video image, this option gives you the impression of the proper depth, size, and relative positions of objects in the work cell. In orthographic mode, the parallel lines of the shape of objects in the work cell are depicted as being at right angles to the projection plane. Each camera option has its advantages. You may want to try both ways of viewing to decide which works best for you. Here are the basic actions for changing the 3D view that you'll likely use the most. To pan the view, press and hold the scroll wheel and drag the mouse. You can also pan by pressing and holding the shift key and the right mouse button while you drag the mouse. To rotate the view, press and hold the right mouse button and drag. Zoom in and out by spinning the scroll wheel up and down. Use the orientation cube in the upper right corner of the window to snap to various views of the work cell. Just click on the desired view. Note that how the cell has been created in Rapid Plan determines which views are labeled as front and back, left and right, and so on. To switch to the opposite of the current view, click anywhere on the border of the cube. For isometric views of the work cell, Click on the corners of the cube. If you ever lose your place so that no parts of the work cell are visible and the 3D view shows only an empty environment, click on the cube. It will snap you to a complete view of the cell. Click on a part in the work cell and then click a face on the cube to zoom into a view of just the part geometry you chose. Finally, Besides selecting items by clicking on them in the 3D view or on the property tree, you can select parts in the 3D view by clicking your mouse and dragging. Click and drag left to right to display a blue selection box. You need to include all the geometry of the part in the blue box to select it. Click and drag right to left to display an orange selection box. When you select this way, you only need to include a piece of the overall part in the box to select the entire part. 